Hello and welcome. Uh, I pause the video, give this problem a shot, and then press play when you're ready to work on it with me. Okay, so a statistics class surveyed some students during one lunch period to obtain opinions about television programming preferences. The results of the survey, survey are summarized in the table below, and they want us to predict how many of the school's 351 males would prefer comedy, and they want us to justify our answer. So notice the focus, they're just focusing on males. So in this table, we really kind of ignore the female um, students. Right, we're just focusing on males. So how many males are there in total in this survey? There are 105, right, 70 plus 35. Um, so total. All right, this is a two-way frequency table. Sorry, right, totals here. And just for fun, um, there are um, sorry, I kind of raised a ninety females total. So out of the hundred and five, seventy of them preferred comedy. That was our sample. So we want to know how many x would there be out of three hundred and fifty-one. So if we solve this proportion, what I would do is multiply both sides by three hundred and fifty-one. There's no need to cross multiply. That would just be redundant, right? Some people will do two multiplications here. But just multiplying by 351 will get us the answer quickly. So we've got um, 70 divided by 105 and then multiplied right, by 351. And we get 234. And that's our answer. So I'll just show this work and you can explain that uh, we use our sample, right? 70 out of 105 which gives us a percentage to then multiply by 351. Um, and that tells us uh, out of the total male population, what, based on that same percentage, 70 over 105, um, how many would prefer comedy. All right, I hope this helped.